So hi everybody, it's FD here and today I have two new fragrances that I want to show you. I got Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir and I also got Jean-Paul Gaultier Divine. So I actually didn't purchase these two fragrances but nobody sent it to me really. I got it from work. So, well, pretty good I can get fragrance from work. I guess that's my dream job. So, I will talk to you about these two fragrances. My first impressions, I actually already had it because I opened both of them. We'll just redo it. So, we'll start with, we'll start with Divine. So, that's how the fragrance comes. And it's a very beautiful bottle, I must say. Very beautiful bottle. Very beautiful I will spray it again, I will just spray it again and um, I will pretend those are my first very sexy bottle man look at this bottle, looks like a black girl you know, very nice bottle let me just do a quick spray I never, it's the first time I'm doing female fragrance in the, in the channel I, I got a lot of female, female, I got a few female fragrance from, from work and let me know if you want me to also talk about the other fragrance that I got but today we are only talking about Defined. And so the top notes are Calypso, whatever that is, red berries and bergamot. The middle notes are lily, yasmin and lang And the base, base notes are marine, meringue, whatever that is, mask and patchouli. So let me first spray it and, and give you my very nice atomizer as well. It spreads really. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of scent I would like to smell on a female. I don't know, I have a girlfriend, if I had a girlfriend, if I had someone I could give this scent. Yeah. It's a really nice smell by the way. I can get I think bergamot from it. It's sort of a fresh scent. It reminds me of champagne or something like that. It's a very, very, very good scent. I'm actually impressed. Jean-Paul Gaultier has been doing bangers. The perfumer of this scent, of this fragrance is Quentin Beach, and I believe he did Ultra Male as well, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a very nice scent, very nice bottle. Let me try and put this back. Very nice bottle, very nice scent. So, define, guys. So, so the second scent that I have is this. Come on, let's start with the bottle. This bottle is amazing. This bottle is just amazing. That, this is Jean Paul Gaultier Elixir. And this is actually a parfum concentration. Uh, though I don't know how much alcohol it has in it. It's a parfum concentration. It's a very beautiful bottle. Let's just compare with the ultra male that I have. Just compare it with the ultra male bottle. Which one is? This one is good. I don't have the perfume edition yet, but uh, this, come on, very nice bottle. And uh, let's just do a quick spray. And you know the trigger thing, the, the thing that looks like a grenade. This one is all big and round. It's bigger than the one that we had in the previous bottles. So, so this fragrance is also made by Quentin Beach, and the top notes are lavender and mint. The middle notes are vanilla and benzoin. And the base notes are honey, tonka bean, and tobacco. So this is the second time I'm actually wearing this scent. The first time it reminded me of another uh, honey scent, uh, so like Montal. It remind me a bit of Montal and Nexus. And I guess that's because of the honey note. But right now it doesn't really remind. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now it doesn't really remind me of those. But it smells niche. I believe it smells niche. Very niche. We actually sent this, this scent to one of our retailers so she would try it out and think if she would like to buy it. And they didn't enjoy this scent, which is crazy. I think this is a very niche-like scent, so it's a great job. I don't know how much this scent goes for. I believe it goes for around 80 euros, something like that, for 125 ml. I didn't pay for my bottle, but it's a great addition to my, to my, to my collection. This is a very good scent. And it will probably be my scent of the day today. And maybe tomorrow as well. Very nice scent. Very nice scent. By the way, well, while I'm here, I would like to tell you about this scent that I also got. That is Barbary, Barbary Goddess. 
And this scent, though, is a feminine scent. I believe this is pretty much unisex. It's a very good vanilla scent. I sprayed it in my house and it smelled, reminded me a little bit of, of Mercedes Cl um, Club Black. Uh, the EDT version. So this is a very nice scent as well. The, if you are female and you're trying to buy a new scent and you buy, uh, I don't know how about to, uh, if you're trying to buy a new scent and you want something now let me not say different because this is not like for your original but it's a very good scent. I don't know how much it goes for. You guys need to check it but it's a very good scent from Barberry. I don't know about longevity because you know Barberry has issues with longevity uh, this is the the first bar Barberry that I actually have in my collection collection since 2014 when I bought Barberry London. So it's been it has been almost 10 years since I last owned a Barberry scent. So it's a very good scent as well. It's just honorable main mention. If you would like to check this scent, also check it. I have another female fragrances and perhaps another male fragrance that I will show to you maybe in the next video. So this is it from me, guys. AFD is out. Stay safe. Peace.